We brought our little lemon tree back into the house finally yesterday, mm -hmm. thinking it's time. Yeah. And, and absolutely, it's time. And those are, those are kind of vulnerable, aren't they? Like lemons. They can and, be. Yeah. yeah. Uh, you know I don't know anything about this stuff. So it's well, just, but again, but, but you do know enough to say frost and most plants yes, don't yes, go together yes, well. Right. And I'm going to show you some frost surprises, but my take on it is last night was colder. So if anything lived through it last night, then yeah. you should be fine in theory. And if not, well, didn't make it. I'm a house plant guy, Pat. This is my, I'm trying to learn. I've gone through, I bought one at Home Depot that literally said, you cannot kill this plant. So <laughs> we'll see. <laughs> Challenge accepted. 37 for a low this morning in Portland, but look, 20s elsewhere very very chilly late last night early this morning so that's why i was talking about there is a freeze warning here and then a frost advisory advisory i should say along the coastline but it is worth noting it's already been this cold so i think um, anything that happened last night i don't think it's going to really be any worse tonight it's certainly going to be chilly all right today was nice and bright you would never know if it weren't for satellite and radar that we have what's left of ian spinning just down to our south across the mid-Atlantic. Some really heavy rain here. Just a gloomy start to the week. This is going to go on for a couple of days. We just have a chance for maybe a shower on Tuesday night, Wednesday. That's it. Mostly that ridge of high pressure that we talked about last week has held out, held strong, and pushed what's left of Ian to our south. So tonight is going to be cool, chilly temperatures in the 30s and some low 40s along the coastline. Tomorrow's a nice day. Not quite as spectacularly blue as today. Uh, we will see some cloudiness, but we're in the upper 50s, low 60s. I think it's going to feel like a nice day overall. And then a couple of showers try to come in here Tuesday night, Wednesday. I'll tell you that a lot of models have the rain just offshore, not even getting to the coast. But it seems to make sense to me that a couple of showers could break off along the coast, really sprinkles here on Wednesday. So I'm not overly heavy on a ton of rain here. And as you head inland away from the coast, I don't think we'll see any precipitation at all on Wednesday. I think it'll straight stay dry. And then the system moves out on Thursday. We get a couple of nice days. Once we get what's left of in out of the general vicinity here, Thursday looks great. We could be in the low 70s. Friday, we could do it again, at least upper 60s. And then a sharp cold front comes through on Friday night. We talked about that last week. This front has looked strong for a while, so it'll drop temperatures quite a bit for the weekend. So look at these rainfall totals, inch to three inches down to the south, and then basically nothing for us. We're just on the north side of that cutoff. We do peak into the 70s Thursday and Friday, and then back down for the weekend. It's going to be definitely brisk. In fact, on Saturday night, behind this front that's come through, a couple of snow showers in the mountains. It happens, right? And it, it does create that great photograph situation if you can get it. You have to get up early usually for that snow and foliage combination. Snow, snow leage, yep. That's as, those are great pictures. So we'll see. You might be able to get some Saturday night into Sunday morning. I think the weekend's fine, guys. It's a lot like yesterday where um, it's a little windy, a little cool, but it's fall. It yeah. feels yeah. about right. And if we do hit 70, well, that's great. Everyone yeah. likes that. Very comfortable this time of year. It might right. actually tease me back to being like, no, I like this better. <laughs> <laughs> just, just ride into fall at this point. Yeah. Thanks, All Steve. right. Thank you.